number five. game, but I can tell you one moment it was the first time I saw him on television. And I didn't know who he was, and I saw him make this one run. He fought for every inch. He must have twisted and knocked three or four guys over, spun around, accelerated. And I said, oh my goodness. <laughs> What kind of animal is this? What kind of guy is this? All those moves and the strength and the tenacity. That was it. I didn't have to see any more. I knew this was a great runner. I was a runner that wouldn't die easy. It's like one of those cowboy movies where a guy is coming at him and then he gets shot once, he goes down, he gets shot again, and he gets again and again, and he's still walking. Then all of a sudden, big explosion go boom, arm over here, arm over their leg over there, and they still trying to get together. That's the type of runner I was. Walter Payton was more than just a great runner. He was the most complete football player in the history of the game. Rolling out left, being oh. chased by Browner, stops and heaves the left side of the end zone for Payton over the oh. corner. Peyton left his unique mark on all who watched him soar up the all-time rushing list. Perhaps his acrobatic touchdown jumps leaped to mind. To some, it was his feared straight arm that they remember most. For others, it was his 275-yard performance against the Vikings, despite the flu and 102-degree fever. But for the authority on great runners, it was Peyton's sheer will that truly defined him. We were warriors, and he was a great warrior. If a guy runs out of bounds because a cornerback is coming up to hit him, that's not my kind of guy. Walter was definitely one of them, because he was a powerful man. <laughs> Give me the heart of Walter Payton. There's never been a greater heart. Sweetness knew toughness and what it took to reach the mountaintop. Finally, after 13 seasons, he stood at the brink of the all-time rushing summit. Waiting for him was the great Jim Brown. Well, there's some individuals that if they broke a record and they did it the wrong way, they wouldn't hear from me. <laughs> But the way that he was, his attitude, his ability, I have all the admiration in the world for him. High formation, quick pitch to Walter, looking for the record. He's done it! He's done it! 25 to the 26-yard line. Walter Payton becomes the National Football League all-time rushing leader. Walter surpassing Jim Brown has listened to the standing ovation. Walter Payton was my friend, uh, the epitome of greatness admired and respected by all.